Canada is a major agricultural powerhouse, without any question. We, we regularly are in the top 10 global food exporting countries in the world. When I was a kid, spending summers on my grandfather's farm in Niagara, uh, my grandfather would drive slowly through the fields and I would stand on the back of the tractor and my job was to throw fertilizer onto the field, small pellets of nitrogen, potassium or phosphorus. About 50% of that fertilizer was wasted. It didn't land at the right place at the right time for the plant to use. And as a result, it either worked its way into the water table and ended up polluting Lake Erie, or it ended up getting into the atmosphere as a greenhouse gas. That's the old style of farming. As we think of the romantic past of farming that was very labor intensive, bound families together, involved vibrant rural communities, we also have to acknowledge that we are moving forward into a different age and that we need to be developing technologies that allow us to maximize the production while minimizing the environmental impact. And in this regard, I think Canada can play a key role. Globally, agriculture causes approximately one third of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Agriculture is the world's largest user of fresh water and the biggest polluter of water. And ag food sector is also the biggest driver in the global loss of biodiversity. Now I have to be honest, I love dairy products. I love beef, I love chicken, I love pork. The production of those products costs a lot of energy. And so my prediction is that uh, we in the future will be eating less but better quality meat. And at the same time, we will be finding other sources of protein in our diets. Aquaculture is an obvious one. I think we'll be eating a lot more farm salmon in the future. But I also think we'll be eating insect protein, algae-based protein, fungus-based protein, and of course, vegetable-based protein, like soybean products and legumes and th things like that. I think Canada can produce more safe, high-quality, sustainable food. And in this way, we can become the world's trusted supplier, which is both a wonderful challenge and a huge opportunity, and, and is a place where Canadians in general can play a global leadership role. According to Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada, in terms of exports, non-Durham wheat is our number one export, closely followed by canola. And our canola industry in Canada is extremely sophisticated. Today, there's approximately 20 million acres of land planted to canola. This means we produce about 18 million tons of canola products every year. So Canada is an absolute leader in global food production. We are at the cutting edge of developing new genetics, both for plants and for livestock. We're also very advanced at developing new farm management tools such as sensors, so soil sensors, moisture sensors, linking data that comes off of a tractor with satellite data, climate data, and, and robotics. So we are really at the vanguard of what some people call the new uh, agricultural revolution. So this sounds wonderful, and I think from an environmental perspective, the farm of the future will be better for the environment than the farm of the past. The world faces a major challenge in how to sustainably, equitably, and nutritiously feed the world's growing population. But Canada can play a leadership role here by developing the technologies, but also the governance and regulatory structures that will govern those technologies. My name is Evan Fraser, and I hold the Canada Research Chair in Global Food Security, and I'm the Director of the Aral Food Institute at the University of Guelph. I believe that farming is Canada.